I love this land that I live on And I love the clean air I breathe But most of all, I love the call Of this cowboy life I lead I would say the majority of the time, particularly when you see people who are my age or older, they are looking at our agrarian past, which is disappearing rapidly in that rearview mirror, and they miss that. And I think in that process of moving from a rural agrarian situation to an urbanized situation, we've insulated ourselves from the best that life has to offer. The fact that all this life just grows up out of the ground and all this other life comes and springs from that. It's a miracle. And the, the cowboy poetry thing is a chance to share that. There aren't a lot of account poems, you know, and, and there aren't many stockbroker poems, but there's something about what we do for a living that connects to the animals, to the soil. It's a way of preserving the West, the history of the West. You know, we have a love life. We have children. We have family experiences. We have heartbreak. We have triumph. We have joy. And it's not all horseback when it happens. What you see on the TV screen, what you read about in books, is not what really goes on out there. Our stories are more about life. And some of us, for some darn reason, just feel like we need to write it down. A couple of days before we start bringing in the stage props to create a very western uh, ambiance on the stage. It is held in the performance hall at Yavapai College, which is a first-rate facility. We'll typically have uh, between seven and eight hundred people in the audience for each evening performance. Good evening. The evening shows where you generally have a headliner, uh, someone who is a top performer, poet, musician uh, in the field of cowboy music and poetry. And then along with that, we combine another 10 or so poets and musicians that entertain. It is a two to three hours filled with cowboy poetry and music. You know, our patrons can't say enough good things about uh, those evening performances. And my mother was right. As a married man, I found out breakfast is the most important meal of the day, because if you ain't home by then, you're damn sure in trouble. <laughs> Thank you, folks. God bless. We want poets and musicians that have either lived the life or are living the life of a cowboy, working on a ranch, doing the work of a cowboy. The material comes from the heart. It comes from experience. So those working cowboy credentials are pretty important. One other thing we do is poetry in the schools. And this year there was almost 500 students that wrote a cowboy poem. You know, to give them an opportunity to get up on the big stage and recite their poetry is quite an experience. Poems. Let's give them another hand. And then there are programs, of course, going on at the gathering, the coffee with the cowboys, which is just a casual sort of storytelling thing. We'll probably have 50 to 60 day sessions, close to 4,000 hours of audience enjoyment. It's a lot easier to look people in the eye who've come to see you and to interact with them in a way that you can, you know, you can feel like there's a real exchange going on. While I was out right, Graveyard shift midnight. They're very caring, hardworking, giving people. The they want to preserve the bases of our country. People that have to work hard for their living, um, believe in strong morals and family, and enjoy what they do. And that's the heart and soul of a cowboy. There's an old saying, there's still real cowboys around, you just can't see them from the road. And it's true, you know, they're out there. 
uh, it's been my good fortune in life to uh, be one of them. Buckaroo, man. 